Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Naomi and we do makeup over here. I thought it'd be so fun to go through the Pinterest Predicts 2022 report and just see if these trends are something I would partake in or something I'm just like, just gonna like leave, leave out the door and say, no, it's not, it's not for me. It's basically like it looks at what people are saving, what people are searching. And this is just kind of trying to predict the fashion and beauty trends for 2022. So go ahead and grab a drink and a snack and we're just gonna get right into this video. Okay, so the first trend that Pinterest is predicting for 2022 is called Be Jeweled. It's saying that tooth gems as a search is up 85% and I have totally seen a ton of people on my Instagram and TikTok have tooth gems. I know that Mina Lee, who's a YouTuber, she made this video called Teeth as a Fashion Statement and she talked all about about tooth gems I thought it was a really interesting video for me personally I would never put tooth gems on my teeth because I just feel like it's an accident waiting to happen okay crystal eye makeup is up 110% I can totally see why this is happening because euphoria season 2 is going to happen January 9th you know how euphoria made a crystal renaissance in the beauty community and everyone was incorporating crystals into their makeup what if my Instagram mutuals glam angelic i'm gonna put her username right here because i can't think of it off the top of my head she makes these really cool gem cosplays that are so so detailed where she glues on gems individually on her face and it looks spectacular you should check her out on tiktok because she is like booming on tiktok and she also like you know incorporates gems in her look so i can definitely see jewels and rhinestones being a huge trend for 2022. Pinterest is predicting a fashion trend and it's called dopamine dressing. The term dopamine dressing, it just basically means you're dressing to feel good. So loud colors, loud prints, bright shapes, things like that, like mixing prints. I love this concept. I've started dopamine dressing myself on my Instagram, I posted a picture of me with like this giant fur like outfit on and a giant hat. You know, I just want to have fun. Electric blue outfit is up as a search 140%, which is insane for a color that is not the color of the year. Very Perry is the Pantone color of the year and it's like this purple slash periwinkle kind of color. I'm interested in why the electric blue outfit is up 140%. This is a trend I'm totally into, but I can see how this is, can be a slippery slope because we don't want to go overboard <laughs> with the dopamine dressing. It can lean toward us purchasing a lot of pieces for our closet that we're not going to be wearing realistically in our day-to-day -day lives. On the same side of the coin, we've been through so much with like, you know, the situation that's been happening worldwide. If we feel good about having like a bright pink puffer coat on, then let's just get that bright pink puffer coat. But yeah, I love this as a trend for 2022 dopamine dressing. The third trend for Pinterest predicts for 2022, it's more of a home decor kind of style. I don't really talk about home decor on my channel that much, but I am kind of interested in like seeing what they have to say. And they're saying that curves are gonna be super big for home decor. It's just like basically like a lot of arches, curves, sways, Swaves, swaves, and waves, things like that. And I've totally seen that in um, a lot of my Pinterest boards for home decor. There's this Pinterest aesthetic that I've been obsessed with for room decor, and it's called Danish Pastel. And it basically looks like this. A lot of this aesthetic pieces for this kind of like room decor has a lot of curves. Like we saw like those curved candles, and we saw like the wavy mirror and things like that. The fifth trend that there talking about that's gonna be trending for 2022 are watches which is very interesting the clockwork aesthetic and watch collection display are up like over 50 percent i guess we were like losing track of time with this situation that we like need <laughs> we need our clocks a next trend that they have is a hair trend which i love it's called puff love so in 2022, they're saying people will embrace their natural texture with big hairstyling techniques. These have crazy numbers. High puff hairstyles are up 165%, 
which I guess is just like styling um, like your afro in a natural way. And I totally have seen like a huge uptick in like multicultural hair care items and hair care brands for people with like textured hair. With Ulta coming into Target, there's like all these new brands that are way more accessible for people. Space Buns Natural Hair is up 100%. Natural Hair Bun Styles up 160%. So I love this and I think it's, I mean, just embrace it because it's like super, super stunning. Okay, I'm super excited about this next trend that they're talking about. They're predicting that there's going to be a goth essence. So it's like a goth renaissance where people are going to be embracing goth clothing and things like that. Goth business casual is up 90% goth baby clothes up 120 percent interesting i th i can see this coming back because i see on tiktok they're totally predicting indie sleaze kind of aesthetic and 2010s aesthetic coming back so they're predicting like um the twee renaissance happening which is like the new girl zoe deschanel kind of vibe i remember like those round hats and it was like around the time when american horror story coven was super popular because it was on tv at that time i think it's cool that we have the spectrum of dopamine dressing so we've got the rainbow dressing and we also have the go gothic dressing so interesting i feel like everyone's gonna be doing their own thing in 2022 and we <laughs> we deserve to because oh my god okay now i have a hair trend coming up it's called rebel cuts mullet hairstyles up 190 percent yes i know that the mullets and like wolf cuts and things like that where it's like sh short up here and like long in the back do i have the guts to pull off a mullet no, but I could totally like cut one of my wigs into a mullet hairstyle and I actually have been thinking about doing that for a while so I think I might do that. I want to get like feathered bangs and I think that's the extent of my rebel cut that I'm going to get. The next trend that Pinterest is predicting for 2022 is a nail trend. I've totally been delving into nail art so hardcore. I'll post some pictures of what I've been doing. Galaxy nail art is up 115%. I just haven't seen that. I've seen a lot of nail art that is incorporating like, it looks like blown glass. Like it looks like like clear beads of like water on their nails. I've seen those designs like super hardcore. I've seen like super dainty tiny little designs on nails like minimal style. I have not seen Galaxy Nails art at all. Maybe I'll try it for like an ironic kind of twist since the 2010s are back. I'm gonna have my little mojito. It's a fojito. I'm doing dry January because I'm a good girl. <laughs> Anyways, checkerboard nails. Oh my God. Checkerboard nails are up 165% as a trend and checkerboard patterns are up 160%. There was like this really cute crochet bag that I've had my eye on and I want to crochet it because I know how to crochet. It looks like this. It's like a green checkerboard bag and it's super, super cute. I think that the green and white checker is my favorite. I am definitely gonna be taking part in this checker trend. Okay, Hellenistic Revival. What is that? There's like this aesthetic that was super popular in 2010. It's called Sea Punk. I'm gonna show some pictures of it and it definitely incorporates like ancient Greek statues that are like painted like bubblegum pink and stuff like that. Aphrodite aesthetic wallpaper up 180%. Ancient Greek jewelry up 120%. I didn't see this coming, but this is another indication that the 2010s are 100% gonna be back in full force for this year. It also kind of um, lends itself to the way that people wanna like travel and that they they haven't been able to. If you think about it, it's like they're trying to incorporate like <laughs> pieces of, you know, grease or something into their home so they can feel like, you know, something's different. You know, something's like they're in, they're in Greece, you know? But I love this for them. And I, I'm like really interested to see how this is gonna play out for 2022 because it's literally the 2010s, isn't it? It is. The next trend is a fashion trend and Pinterest predicts that 
Um, it's kind of, it's called lingerie. So if you remember in 2020, the matching sweater and matching sweatpants were like super popular as a set. But now I guess they're predicting that people are gonna go more toward silk. Lounge lingerie is searched 96 times more than it was originally. I've bought like two silk robes because I wanna like feel like a luxe girl in the house, you know? I'm not trying to look like a schlumpa dinka, as Oprah would say. Oh my god, pearl core? <laughs> Interesting! So I guess pearl's gonna be super big in 2022, which I'm obsessed with. Pearl wedding decorations is up 185%. I like pearls. I have like the little like knockoff Vivian Westwood choker, it's like the pearl choker. Another huge massive trend is people are trying to turn their hobbies into a business, which I feel like people are getting more creative with ways to make money in ways that they are not like, you know, at their traditional nine to five. We can see that the great resignation has been happening where people are leaving their offices and maybe they're finding new ways to make money. So I guess they're trying to monetize their hobbies. Eyelash business ideas is up 60%. Yes, I have seen so many eyelash businesses pop up. The eyelash extensions are super popular because like when you think about it, when we're wearing our masks, the eyes are like the only thing that you see. So people want to have like, you know, cool eyelashes. So that totally, totally makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna just talk about the last trend <laughs> that I wanna talk about and that is, it's called higher frequency. So it says people are being called to a higher consciousness in 2022. Gen Z are looking for ways to raise their vibration. This is so crazy because I literally just went on Spotify today before reading this all and I searched up like, you know, frequency playlists. I am not sure if it's like actually scientifically proven. I haven't done any kind of research on it, but the sound of the music, like it makes you feel more calm. So how to raise your vibration is up as a trend 145%. We're going through a lot right now and I don't think we like are fully aware of how much we're going through on a day-to-day -day basis just interacting with like the public nowadays, but it does feel like a lot. So I understand why people want to like protect their energy and spiritual awakening stages. That's, that's up four times more than it was last year. And aura colors, oh my God. I wanted to get my aura red for a long time. If you guys can read auras, let me know. Don't let this, um, purple light fool you <laughs> this is like a gel light that i have next to me let me know what you guys think about these trends are you gonna take part in any of them which ones do you think you're gonna like which ones do you think you're not gonna like definitely follow me on instagram tiktok twitter and pinterest <laughs> i have so many social medias i'm like chronically online follow me on any kind of social media that you feel fit i really want to film more i need to get more comfortable on camera get out of my perfectionist tendencies and i have to just like you know do the dang thing so that's what i'm doing right now so definitely subscribe if you want to be part of this journey we're going to be doing makeup and diy fashion on this channel this year so definitely subscribe if you're into that and i hope to see you on the internet somewhere else that's it for today's video i'll see you in the next one bye guys I don't fit till you